Hi everyone, it's Affairs Old Jules here, and I am going to show you how to make a realistic polymer clay sugar cube charm. And this uh, sugar cube I've made in my uh, last just charm update. I based the sugar cube charm off of a Studio Joby movie I watched called The Secret World of Arietti. You will need um, translucent polymer clay, and you can also use white. Uh, polymer clay if you don't have it, but I like using translucent polymer clay because after you bake it um, It gives it that uh, see-through effect and looks really nice. It makes it look more realistic that way But in this tutorial, I'll be using Fimo. So you can make uh, This sugar cube charm however big you want it. The dimensions are completely up to you So I'm just going to condition this. Another thing you need would be TLS uh, You can also use Bacon Bond Fimo Deco Gel. But I'll also be testing out um, a technique on which I'll use common school glue to see if it works when sticking to polymer clay. And the last thing you need would be coarse glitter. You can see the texture is very coarse, almost like a sanding sugar. Now you can also use a fake deco sugar. I don't like using fake deco sugar. I think this would make it look more realistic this way. So first, take your conditioned ball of polymer clay, pinch it like this. Pinch on all four sides and then keep rotating it. Now this part can get a little messy. So I'm going to make two different ones, one with school glue and one with TLS. So I'm just going to coat the surface, with just a small dab, not too much, on the surface of your sugar cube charm. And you can use a paintbrush when doing this, but I like working with my hands. So coat every side of this with the glue. Take your glitter and put it on a flat surface on which you can clean later. I'm putting this on a note card so I can bend the note card back and pour the glitter back in for the ones I don't use. I'll take your cube of polymer clay and dip it into the glitter. Be sure to coat all four sides. To press down on it, and you're gonna have to press down on it to make sure you get all the sugar you can on one side. And it might misshape the cube a little bit, but you can just shape it back. So now that you have your fake coarse sugar on the cube, reshape your cube. And it is to um, push the glitter into the polymer clay, which would lessen the chances of it flaking off later. So there you have your sugar cube charm. And don't be afraid if it looks really white. After you bake it, the translucent clay will make it look more realistic. At this point, it is completely up to you whether you want to use a head pin or an eye pin. I like using head pin. First, I make sure if the head pin is straight by twirling it around my fingers. And if it's uh, semi-straight like this, it's a bit crooked, but this is good enough. Find the center point of the charm, and I make an indentation, and I poke it straight through. Make sure it is straight, and you should see the other end on the other side. Take the end you have created. Push it back in, slowly, while twisting it a little bit. Pull until the head pin touches the polymer clay. Now it's ready to bake. I'll bake it uh, as per your package instructions. So I finished baking it, and this one has an eye pin screw. I used the TLS uh, technique with this charm, or this is the one I use regular school glue with. So there's no difference. You can, um, you don't have to use uh, TLS, I guess. There's not much of a difference between. Um, the TLS and the PVA glue. I don't recommend substituting TLS on uh, different occasions, but when it comes to s sticking stuff on it, like glitter, but if you were to stick two polymer clay pieces together, I can't guarantee that it would stick well. Uh, let it cool, and when it's done cooling, you should glaze it. But if you were to use a head pin, you have to turn it into a charm. So I'm just gonna give my um, charm a quick loop here. It's time to glaze them. And the glaze is to seal in the sh fake sugar on the outside. I like to use triple thick. This was the one I used TLS with. And this one was the one where I used a uh, school glue. So, to use school glue or to use TLS Fimo Deco Gel or Bacon Bond is completely up to you. So I really hope you guys liked this tutorial and I really hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you guys enjoy making this as much as I did. So stay crafty, stay awesome, and thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!